All right, another day. Good morning. Man, I slept so good last night. Um, so we launched the uh, video where I thought the truck got hit by lightning yesterday. Reading through the comments, a lot of people are talking about a uh, two hose air conditioner. Um, I have no idea, I've never even heard of those. But I don't think they're small enough to fit inside of our closet. Besides, honestly, I couldn't imagine it getting any colder than what it does with this in the truck. So, if you can get a two hose air conditioner to fit in yours and it works, great. Fantastic. So, oh, anyways, Lito went and got us some uh, Einstein bagels. I don't know how good it's gonna be here. I know I've had them in Salt Lake and they were pretty decent, so. Kind of excited about that. Um, today we'll be driving through, today we should, really we should be to the drop today but we should be let me turn that off i know that bothers some people um i should be able to swing by and see grandma hopefully yesterday was her birthday so i'm excited about that i just don't know how i'm gonna get my truck on her street she's got a pretty small street um i have to figure out if i can maybe drop the trailer somewhere and run and see her so anyways Man, I spent, uh, spent $150 at first at this truck stop getting the uh, Bumblebee strap winder and then this button thing and then some rubber bands. And then I bought an iPad mount. And then we bought dinner. Man, I bet they got me for $400 here last night. Oh, and now we have breakfast. I don't know how much we spent, but I can tell you this. So, as I've been saying, we switched we switched factoring companies from OTR Capital to RTS, and today is, I don't want to tell you guys, but Monday was a holiday. Today's Thursday. Monday was Memorial Day. <clears throat> so now you know what the date is. But anyways, you guys are probably seeing this around Christmas time. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all of that. So we tried to turn in invoices with RTS and I don't know what they're doing. They are dragging their feet on paying us. Now, I told you guys before, we couldn't factor with OTR because it would have locked us into another contract. So, you would have thought because RTS knew the nightmare I was having with OTR, they wouldn't be dragging their feet on paying me for these invoices. So... I'm uh, I'm not happy with it. I'll be honest. I'm... Somebody's head needs to roll because this is ridiculous, you know. And they're probably gonna blame. Oh, Monday was a holiday. I can tell you this. Even with Monday being a holiday, OTR wouldn't have let me go over a week without getting paid. So there's been some issues because. And we went through the same thing with OTR. The company is listed as South Georgia Hotshot, DBA, Lita, right? So sometimes when these trucking companies pull up our DOT number, it comes up as, as Lita. So a lot of times they cut the Raycon instead of it saying, South Georgia hotshot, it's got her name. I don't know why these companies can't figure that out. I, the company's RTS OTR, because it shouldn't matter because that's how our business name is set up. So they're probably gonna try to blame that, which is also horseshit. Like, 
you guys should have known that before begging me for three years to switch over to you. So, I'm probably ruining some relationships talking like this, but I think you guys need to know. I don't care if they pay me or not for talking about them. <sighs> you know, I get, I get a lot of emails and I get a lot of phone calls. People want me to talk about their product and I'm like, okay, but I have to tell them the truth. I can't sugarcoat anything that I talk about for a paycheck. And then mysteriously, they stop calling and emailing. Like, I don't know if I told you guys the story. Uh, Keep Trucking, the ELD, reached out to us and wanted, uh, wanted us to do a commercial for them. I said, absolutely, that'd be great. This was before I had, I, I had just ordered Keep Trucking like an, a week earlier and I'm like wow that's weird because I just ordered your guys' ELD and they're like yeah yeah we need to get you down here you know we'll, we'll, sh we'll shoot a commercial I'm like alright let me use the ELD for a bit like what do you mean I'm like I want to use the ELD to see if I like it before I can recommend it to people and uh, I don't think they were they, they couldn't understand that like, they, they didn't understand why I wanted to use the product before I was willing to support the product. And I guess you guys obviously know, I hated their ELD, and uh, they're, still, they're still emailing me, wanting me to come back. Has, haven't really talked about the commercial, obviously. They, they watch the channel. And they seen me bash their product. So, you know, I just wanted simple functions. Like, simple things. Like, like the first time we had a problem with it was we parked in a Home Depot or a Lowe's parking lot. And I backed up to a light pole. And then I noticed on the light pole. I backed up to the light pole, put myself off duty, got out, noticed there was a sign on the light pole that says no parking. I was like, crap. So... I took and I moved the truck maybe 50 yards and it put me back into driving which gave me a violation on my thing and I'm like I called up keep trucking and I'm like I need to know how to go in here and change it to yard move or personal conveyance or something and when you call, you, you don't ever get anybody that's, that speaks good English. Oh, no, no, that can't be done. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, no, that you, you, you can't do that. I'm like, why not? Oh, that's illegal. No, it, it's not illegal. It's not... Wait, is that what happened with that? Or did I not notice till the next morning? There's been so many times that I've accidentally moved the truck that I can't keep track of. Anyways, there was that time, and then there was another time where I was at home, and obviously I was in my pickup truck, so I use it for personal use, and um, I accidentally moved my truck and messed up my 34. And I called them up, and they're like, no, no, nothing can be done. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, you can't do that. I'm like, I've had multiple ELDs that I could do that with. So, the guy's answer was, well, the good news is you can drive tomorrow. And I'm like, I have to drive today. And they just don't understand, you know? People that get into <clears throat> trucking company or trucking business items or... services that have never driven a truck have no business being in business you know that's like me designing something for somebody that I, I have no idea about anyways looks like lead is back so we're going to uh, eat some breakfast I just finished up pre-trip and uh, we're gonna go try to see grandma so we'll see you later
I think his paint's in better shape. They got a mag just like ours. Look at that. Oh, they got the fairings in the back, too. We don't have the fairings. The things that come off the back. That's awesome. You don't see many. Ohio unfortunately well we didn't make it to our drop in Ohio we're just in Ohio now um, unfortunately we got stuck in some traffic so we were unable to go see grandma which um, sucks but uh, today's the day they found Fauci's emails so if you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, so like I was saying last time we fueled up, man, it's like as soon as you think you find a good, you know, the, the, the one fuel card that's going to uh, be the best. So the last time we filled up at, at Casey's, we're at a Casey's again, uh, mud flap was topped off. But now it's my RTS card, and it's beating it by five cents a gallon. Zero. And uh, pay inside. Maybe that'll work. So, cases. Skip. So, anyways, man, that traffic was no joke. They, uh,. I didn't even see anybody working on the road either. I just seen a bunch of cones out. I don't know why they do that. Like, they shut down the entire interstate. I tell you what I've been doing different too, is I've been keeping track of how much fuel I put in each tank. So I know how much of that Pittsburgh, um, Pittsburgh additive to add, just in case that's affecting the mileage and all. And like I said, it's so hard for me to actually tell if it's helping with my fuel mileage. Because like this, this is a container, but it's only, the whole load is only 13,000 pounds. I think I weigh 40 something thousand pounds total. And that, that can be a big factor in how much fuel. Casey's has these uh, little cart things here you can use because they don't have long reach um, windshield washer arms. So that's, that's, a, that's a help. It's probably a lot more safe than me climbing up on the truck. Man, we've been trying to get this thing washed 
but it's like every time we go by a truck wash they're slammed like the line is out to the road i'm not sitting around waiting on that so anyways we're gonna get some fuel here let me run in oh my uh, jake brake button that i added so the mac has two different uh jake brakes they have like a, a softer one and then a i don't know what's the word one that doesn't work as good and then one that's more powerful um so i hooked that button up to the more powerful one but i've learned that the pow the the stronger one doesn't work unless the first one's activated first so the button on the dash when you turn it on it goes to the softer one and then you hit it again it goes to the harder one well little did i know it sends power to both of those wires at the same time so what i'll probably do because i never use the uh the other one and look how these tires are wearing funny i know look at the squirrel um i'm getting some cups here on on the middle ridge here anyways so what i'm gonna have to do is um just wire clip them together and then when i hit that button on the uh, shifter for the jake brake it'll just automatically push it up to the strongest one so that's what i'll probably end up doing tonight uh we plan on staying at a walmart in millfield ohio tonight um because that's the only place around and uh like i said we have a nine o'clock appointment to unload this did i mention we have one picking up in west virginia going back to kansas um i can't remember if i told you guys that or not but uh yeah we got that got that at a great rate too so this was um this load here is the cheapest i'll take uh or at least the cheapest i try to take uh, i don't want to take under 250 a mile so i guess I'll, I'll let you know that paid 250 a mile to come from utah over to ohio which um monday was a holiday uh it was from the same broker too so i'm kind of hoping to try to get like some more relationships i think i think the broker's from utah so it would be nice to get in on some western brokers um but yeah i don't know you know who knows um i'm not uh i'm not gonna hold my breath i have brokers you know tell me all the time they watch the channel or whatever oh you know call me if you're ever in the area i got i got freight all the time and you call them and then they magically don't have freight it's like i'm not mad at you but at the same time it's it's almost a waste of time sometimes where we drop that um that mulch that we picked up um he gave me his business cards and he's like look he owned that uh that that rock yard and all he's like look if you're ever stranded somewhere call me up and uh maybe i can maybe i can buy some stuff from an area by you so we got 66.74 in the apu side 66.74 all right anyways let me fuel this thing up All right, check it out. We have stopped 
I actually had a Walmart punched in. But we're going to have to take a 30 minute break. We're going to have to take a 30 minute break to get to drive another 30 minutes. So I pulled in here and uh, we just decided to stay here for the night because uh, why not? These parking spots aren't very big. Of course, that guy didn't pull up enough. They got these boxes drawn out. I need enough room to get out in the morning if he doesn't wake up. So between me and him, we've taken up three boxes, which I don't know how busy this place gets, but that kind of sucks, huh? So anyways, I'm gonna walk Fat Butts. I think we're going to actually, um, hold on Fat Butts, don't jump out. Uh, grill outside, so let me walk her and uh, we'll see what we can set up here. Damn seat belt. All right, check it out. We're gonna cook on the uh, on the step deck. Only the real OGs know what this is like, huh, fat butts? Oh, look at your nose all wet from that grass. This is a nice rest area. There's uh, honeysuckles all along the uh, fence over there. Wait on this APU to kick up. Oh, we'll start this thing up. We're gonna cook us some brats tonight, fat butts. Are you okay with brats? Huh? Are you okay with brats? Man, it's been a minute since we used this thing. I hope it's not too dirty. We'll plug it in here. Get back. Oh, it's not too bad. It needs a little cleaning. We'll let Fat Butt supervise, huh? Is this your secret recipe? What? Of these wieners. No? Are we, st we stealing condiments? They're from Denny's. Oh. They have no, I don't put ketchup on my, on my brats. Only mustard. What a jerk. It's getting dark out here. Ooh, it tried to fall out. Ooh, they're looking pretty. You think they're done? Probably, Probably done, huh? All cooked up. Everyone's on their second wiener. How many wieners have you had? Oh, okay. How much did we pay for this thing? Man, this thing has been money. This copper coated, man, it must have been, I think I got it in the clearance section for like 15 bucks or something ridiculous. Last time we used this was in Utah, that cold night, wasn't it? When we tried to cook brats on it then. Oh no, we cooked steaks on it since then. Yeah.